Good morning, everybody. Coming to you once again with another type of video just concerning equipment. A lot of times when we, let's just say you finish a trip, right? And you just been working all day and don't let you be a touch freight driver. That would just furthermore, just make you exhausted at the end of the day. And by the time you get to where you're dropping your trailer, only thing you try and do is disconnect, get in your car, turn your paperwork in and go home. So that being said, everybody already knows that with exhaustion and fatigue or just being tired in general, you can end up making so many mistakes or you can end up forgetting stuff that can cause mistakes. So I feel like one of the main common mistakes is, let's just say you on the phone, because sometimes when you you know you're dropping your trail or you're working, most truck drivers will have our headset on and we'll be talking to somebody. Or you can have so much on your mind to where you, you just thinking of so much. So usually when somebody's been doing something long enough, it's secondhand nature. But just sometimes you forget no matter how long you've been doing it. So the more that you can lessen your distractions from the phone, from just bringing your home to work and all that stuff, the better. But at the end of the day, we are human. So it's easy to say that, but it don't always happen that way. So I didn't do this today. I, I ain't gonna lie, I did it the other day. But one of the main things that I know people can forget, obviously when is hooking and unhooking is three things that you have to deal with one is your glad hands and electrical lines the next one is your fifth wheel and the next one is either disengaging or engaging your landing gear so what i forgot to do and which i'm sure a lot of people probably forget either well you can't forget to pull that fifth wheel kingpin because you ain't gonna get loose so I think the main thing that most people don't forget is to pull the, the kingpin lock. And the kingpin lock is this kingpin handle right here. This is your kingpin handle, which unlocks your fifth wheel to the shank. But the two common things that I feel most people forget, which can cause problems, but the one thing that can cause a major problem if you forget is remembering to put your landing gear legs down or up. Now, I think it's more detrimental if you forget to put them down and up because if you pull the trailer with the landing gear legs down, you can mess up the legs and you can like mess up the ground because when you're dragging, you know, you can put a lot of indentations in the ground. But, you know, a lot of times you can catch that real quick because obviously you're going to feel yourself pulling. So I'm like, oh crap, I forgot to put the landing gear legs up. But if you forget to put the landing gear legs down, guess what? Once you pull from underneath the trailer guess what this trailer going to do this whole top of this trailer is going down and you don't want that problem some jobs might be understanding and don't fire you but you probably end up getting fired because now and don't let the trailer be loaded to the brim to where it got thirty-eight thousand pounds on it forty thousand. just don't let it be heavy because they have to call either a crane or most it won't be a crane they'll probably try to i don't know if forklifts can pick it up but they're gonna have to call somebody to try to pick it up and it'll probably be hours or maybe even an all day process when all you had to do was just remember to put your legs down, stop being distracted. But what I did the other day is I forgot to take my service brake, emergency brake and my electrical lines off. So I got inside my truck and when I got inside my truck, like I, I um, you know, I pulled the kingpin lock I let the landing gear legs down and then I gave the paperwork to the guy that do the inspection on it and somehow I just forgot to take off the glare hands and I normally don't pull off fast so that's probably what made it to where none of these got damaged. I pulled off slow so when I went to pull off you don't even feel it like you really don't even feel the only way reason I knew that I did it because another driver walked up to me and he was like man you know you just ripped your glare hands out that trailer. I said I did? Oh. I thought the uh, I thought the mechanic guy took them out. No, you ripped them out. I said, dang. I said, oh man. So I said, man, this gotta be a video. So what happened was when I pulled out slowly, it just kind of disconnected everything. But luckily for me, it didn't mess up anything. It, Cause usually for people that got a heavy foot and they like speeding on everything they do, let's just say 
you sped from underneath, like, you know, you went fast from underneath your trailer, what can happen is, is you can end up, let me see, you can end up ripping this whole piece out. You can end up like ripping the whole glad hands. Like you can end up, you see how this is screwed on? You can end up ripping this off and you can end up ripping this off. So, I mean, it's not bad because it's easy to replace, but who wants to spend unnecessary money on something when you can just pay attention? I think that day I was really tired because some days I get my days to where I be so tired. I don't even want to talk to nobody. I just be trying to get from underneath this trailer and go home. So I ain't mess up nothing, but usually they sell they sell these lines at um, truck stop at dealership. <coughs> they even sell they sell glad hands like just the glad hand itself. They sell glad hands at the truck stop. They even sell the electrical lines. Like when you go inside a truck stop where they sell like, um, what is it? They sell the log books and they sell lights. They sell, like go in the section where they sell all the tools and stuff and you will see that they sell like lines. They sell glad hands and all that stuff. I think these lines are expensive too. I think you might pay like $80 just for an electrical line. So you gonna pay. And don't, and God forbid you don't like pull this whole piece out. If you pull this whole piece out right here, now you want to go to the shop. So that's what I'm saying. Just pay attention. So I know I got all three of my stuff disconnected. Now I know that I am safe to pull out. So all right guys, I have a lot of videos that I want to do. And it's like I got so many videos I want to do that I have to post multiple times a week to get all my messages out there. But look at this y'all. <laughs> oh man look oh man my mud flap man some of these some of these family dollars boy they are rough look here i'm talking about that uh mclean and cisco or pepsi or beer you know because you know a lot of people that deliver beers and stuff they have to touch the freight too y'all are the soldiers body wise and like getting it off the truck but these dang trucks these are soldiers here at family dollar these trucks get used and abused here you hear me these trucks have to go in so much small places that it's impossible to not, you know, lose mud flaps or get little dings here and there. Man, I'm, that's why I'm at the, I'm on the yard now. I'm about to get my brake drums fixed, but where is my mud flap? That mud flap, that mud flap came clean. That mud flap, fat flap, that mud flap came clean off. I think I had to deliver to, uh, what was it? What was it? I, I had a, I had that same delivery yesterday and that shit came off. But this that came off like last week sometime. And I actually had the same store yesterday and my mud flat was still there. I said, oh, let me pick this back up because I need to put this on. But where I had to go? Let, I'll tell you where I had to go. I will tell you where I had to go. Let me see here. Give me a second. Wait a minute. I had to go. Oh, I had to go to Sylvania, Georgia. That damn family dollar, that damn family dollar in Savannah, Georgia. Oh my goodness, that's a blind side backing. And even if you manage to turn around and get it to where you can do a normal backing, it's still tight. It's like, like I said, when you backing, a lot of the problems that happens is people don't have enough room to clear the front of your truck. So where, at that particular store, there's like a big mud hill and, and it's like real terrible terrain. So not only are you trying to clear your nose, but the rear of your, the rear of your tractor where, where the mud flaps are is rubbing. So the only way to get in there is either to kind of scrape the front of your bumper a little bit or to lose a mud flap. So I made it back. That's a couple, that's crazy. I made a couple hundred miles back to pick up my, to pick up my freaking mud flap. <laughs> but that's all right. I'm gonna get the shop. I'm gonna get the shop to give me a new one because I don't think I can reuse this one. Look, these I done pulled this off so much, I would probably have to cut it and make new holes. But why cut it and make new holes when they can just give me a new one? Maybe they can cut it and make new holes, but I'm gonna just get them to give me a new one. But yeah, guys, oh, um, going forward, I want to involve a lot of my subscribers or even people that ain't subscribers. 
I want to involve y'all opinion into my channel. So I'm about to go get a P.O. box today and we're going to start doing Pinky's Mail. And Pinky's Mail is going to consist of, you can write a letter to me and it can be an issue you're going through and you just probably need advice on it. And I'll pick letters once a week and read your letter and give my opinion on what I feel you can do about it and you'll be featured on a video. Or if you want, you can send a video of, you know, what you want me to do for um, like a video for you and you can send it to my email. I'll always leave my contact information in the description below. So you can even send an email or for people that might got my number, you can send the videos to my number or you can send me a video on IG at Keeping It 100 Trucking. There's so many ways you can get small clips of like just what you want me to talk about in the video that I can do a response to. So all right guys, um, yeah, let's do this. Let me get this truck in the shop so I can get my tail home. So all right y'all, deuces. 